Hi guys, thanks for watching this Diagnostic World video. Uh, in this video we're going to show you what we believe to be the three best diagnostic tools for Porsche models uh, on the road at the moment. Uh, now we're not going to talk about high-end diagnostic tools that are going to cost thousands and thousands. We're really looking at diagnostic tools that are going to be appealing to the, uh, the home DIY mechanic. So somebody who wants to try and have a go at fixing a problem on their own on their driveway in the garage. Um, something like that. Um, everyone knows you can go out and pay you know, seven or eight thousand pounds for a high-end uh, package direct from the dealer. Um, for most people that's out of their grasp so uh, we're giving you three well-priced reasonably, um, reasonably, well, reasonably suitable um, kits for the modern cars on the road today. Uh, so we'll go through three kits which we believe are great tools great assets uh, for any Porsche owners. Um, so we've got the POR2, we've got the I980, sorry, I960 and a CRP123. So first of all we're going to look at the I960 kit. So as you can see, it's a well made box. So we're going to open up, just have a quick look at it. And I'll run through some of the features as well. So it comes in a handy, a uh, sort of lightweight Nice little box there and a carry pouch. Now this is the actual tool itself, so this is the I960 kit. So this is what plugs into the diagnostic port in your vehicle. Obviously these are the, uh, the keys which you'll be using to navigate the menus on screen. Um, you've got a USB cable, so one end goes in to the bottom of the tool, that end goes into your laptop or your PC um, and it's going to allow you to update the tool. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll get onto the updates in a moment and it's also got a user manual in there as well. Um, so basically what, what good is this tool and what will it do for you? Well, if you've got like um, a check engine light, if you've got an ABS light, traction light, uh, an airbag light, which a lot of people do get airbag lights, um, or a transmission warning light, um, this kit, this is the kit which is going to be able to diagnose it. So it's going to give you a fault code, it's going to give you a description of the fault. Um, armed with that information you take from it what you need to. Um, generally a lot of people will go online and there's lots of different forums available which would say for example if you had a code of P0141 something like that could be a faulty O2 sensor. You might not necessarily know that although the description on the screen might say faulty O2 um, bank 1 sensor 2 you might be like well what does that mean so uh, going on the internet going on the forums is a great way to pick up information very easily readily available um, and it should really pinpoint the actual uh, problem within your vehicle so that's what this is good for um, generally it's probably going to be a sensor or a part which you need to replace but once you put a new say for example you had a new ABS sensor or an O2 sensor to put in um, so you've read the codes you put the new part in Turn the engine on, you find the light is still on the, the dashboard. You'll need a tool like this, the i 60 to go in, erase the trouble codes. Uh, that is basically resetting the ECU or telling the ECU that you've uh, you've fixed the fault. Can you do a recheck of the system? Um, so that's what it will do, and then it will turn the the engine light off or the ABS light, whatever light you've got on. Um, so that's what's going to happen in that. That's the i 960 kit. Uh, you can update this because as and when new Porsches are released onto the market, the software will be updated and you can then get the software actually on this tool. Updates are free for life. So it covers a lot of different cars, it covers your Boxsters, your 911s, uh, your Cayman, your, your Cayenne, um, what else will it cover? There's not much else is there. Macan's not included yet but that's only at the time of speaking. Um, they are in the process of making the software for that. Um, so Keep checking, GT2s, GT3s, things like that, they are covered. Uh, Panamera as well, covers Panamera. Uh, right, so that's the i960, that's a great little tool. That's number one. Number two is the POR2 kit. So we'll have a quick look at this one. It's obviously in a bigger box, which means the tool itself is actually a bit bigger, but I will show you that. So again, you've got the same sort of cables, um, OBD2 cable, the tool itself is like a handheld gaming system from the 90s. Look at that there. So if you want to hold it, like I would hold it, hold it like that and you can see it's got like pitted areas to put your hands in and then you'll use it accordingly. 
Um, so this is a great tool as well. This POR kit, uh, POR2 kit, covers everything which is included on the i960 kit. However, this also will cover other systems. It will do your service reset. So if you've got a service light or a service due warning message on your dash, uh, on your screen, this is what's going to be able to uh, reset that warning message. It will also cover electronic park and brake as well. Um, it covers the same, system, the same vehicles as the i960, the same other systems, so it's also going to cover your engine, your airbags, ABS, your transmission, things like that. Um, so that's the POR2 kit. Again, updates for this are free for life. So it's definitely worth checking out. All of these kits I'm going to put the links to below this video. So check it out. Obviously you can click on the Diagnostic World website as well. So we'll put this one back in the box and we'll have a look at the final two. Pricing, you're generally going to pay more for this tool than you offer this tool simply because the, uh, the software involved and the functionality of the tool is uh, increased so the more functions you get out of the tool generally the more you then pay all right so that's those two now this these two are icarsoft this is a launch product as you can see there launch it's crp one two three now this carries the same kind of theme as the por2 in that it's got that sort of 90s handheld feel about it and it's got a nice screen as well obviously it's got a sticker on there at the minute um, but this also plugs into the diagnostic port the 16 pin diagnostic port now um, this kit is probably going to appeal to you if you've got more than one car so say for example you own a Porsche 911 your wife or your husband or a family member owns an Audi A4 your brother, your sister owns a BMW 3 Series. This is the tool you need if you want to then go on and diagnose other people's cars. So if you've got a lot of cars to look after, um, or you think it might be worthwhile looking after other people's cars, um, or indeed you've got a Porsche now, you've also got another second car, or you're going to change cars in a few years time, this covers a lot of different vehicles. So check the website. Um, as I say, it's Audi, BMW, see it Skoda, VW, Ford, you name it, covers a lot of cars. Um, so check the website for the full list. Um, one thing about this one is that it'll only cover the main system. So it'll only cover airbags, ABS, engine and transmission systems. It won't do any oil service resets. Um, it won't do anything like parking sensors or anything like that. It simply covers the main four systems. Again, updates for this are going to be free for the lifetime of the unit, so when new cars are released, you can add the vehicles to the system and it will allow you to start diagnosing those. Um, so there it is, that's your CRP123, your POR2 and your i960. So all of these tools, they are available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com. Uh, below this video what we'll do is we'll put in the, uh, the information, we'll put links to each and every one of the tools so you can just find them directly um, or you can go into Google and just search for Diagnostic World. Uh, our website will come up as number one in the list there. So thanks for watching this video, I hope it's given you a bit of insight as to uh, what we believe are the, the three uh, sort of cost effective and best sort of DIY tools on the market for any Porsche owner. Um, we understand that there are a lot of other tools as well. You've got your high-end tools. Um, there, you've got to be careful as well because there are a lot of tools out there which are actually fake and they're actually uh, clones of high-end tools which will they just simply won't work. Um, they might work for once or twice uh, but they're such a poor quality. My advice is honestly stay away from them. Stick with something which is uh, well designed for the aftermarket such as the iCarsoft products, the launch products, you've also got Autel products as well. Um, so I hope that helps, thanks for watching this video and uh, don't forget to check out the website where you can find more information on all of these tools.